Hold on a second. Yes, mortal, I'm talking to you. Are you really sure you know what you're doing there? Cutting a person's life thread results in death. And that's irreversible. Clotho, say something. Lachesis, don't interfere with the human's decision, sister. As goddesses of fate, we are supposed to remain neutral observers. Am I right, Atropos? Atropos reminded her sisters that they were arguing to no avail. The mortal's choice had been predetermined long ago. Oh, Atropos, can't you speak like a normal person for once? Atropos found her speech quite normal and declined to dignify the remark with a response. So, human, what will it be? The human turned to Atropos, hoping for a solution to the dilemma, but no answer was forthcoming. The human... What are you waiting for, mortal? Make your choice. What are you waiting Remember, sunshine, you don't have to do this! I don't like this part of the story. Me neither, to be honest. And yet it had to be told. What? Wait. I remember this place. We were here together, many times. Right. What did you call it again? The world in between. We thought it a fitting locale for our encounters. I mean, a mortal woman and death. Encounters. Ah, oh, charming as always, Thanatos. These shadows on the wall. Are they the souls you couldn't... Yes. They are trapped here forever. Reminding me of my mistake. You have to forgive yourself, Thanatos. I would much prefer to leave the past in the past. You won't ever change, will you? Death is as unchangeable as it is inevitable. Now show yourself already! Ugh, there's no reason to put on an act with me. Hello, Morwen. You look... Dead? I am afraid so. What about Prim? Is she... The child is all right. There is no need to worry. No, she's not. She needs someone by her side. Especially now. Remember what the goddesses of fate said when she was born? A power over life and death would awaken in her. As soon as... As soon as she turns 16, I know. Forgetting things is not in my nature. Listen to me. Up until now, it wasn't a problem for you to keep to yourself and do your... thing. We got along just fine without you. But now... now things have changed. She needs help. Well, I have heard the orphanages these days are not as bad as people make them out to be. Is this all a cosmic joke to you? She's your daughter too! How am I supposed to take care of a child? You know who I am. I know you have your responsibilities. But your daughter is one of them now. She needs you. I need you. So you'll have to find a way to make it work. Promise me you'll take care of her. I... Promise me! So be it. I promise. Good. You be nice to her, you hear? Fine. I will try. Then I think I'm ready for whatever comes next. Goodbye, Morwen. Safe travels. I will need to make preparations before transporting the child to my realm. Death has a daughter. This is ridiculous.
in the land of the living, Prim didn't have the slightest idea that Thanatos, the god of death, was already on his way to her. The girl's mind was engulfed in a haze of grief, for her beloved mother, Morwen, had passed away in a terrible accident only weeks before. Morning makes mortals do strange things. In Prim's case, she did what any 15-year-old would do. Go, Go somewhere, somewhere forbidden. forbidden. This is it. Mom's secret hideaway. She never let me up here. Prim, are you sure this is a good idea? It's really dark up there. Don't chicken out again, Triss. C can't we at least wait for better weather? But this storm is making everything twice as creepy. Oh, come on, scaredy pants. You promise don't bail out now. Do I really have to? Tristan, please. This is important to me. Going through Mom's things might help me feel close to her. Even if it's just for a moment. Oh, fine. But, but I'm staying on the ladder. Whoa! What is all this? I have no idea. But we're here to find out. It's not raining cats and dogs. More like lions and wolves. I never knew Mom was into music. It probably wasn't hers. This part of the attic is so dark, I won't be able to find anything without some light. And we all know the coolest things are hidden in the darkest places. Mm, I hope the chicken this monstrosity came from is just as big. Otherwise, ouch. Ugh, I really hope Mom didn't put that thing in my crib. Although, that could explain the nightmares. Hmm, I wonder where this is. Mom usually didn't take pictures of houses. She was more of a portrait photographer. Why don't you come up here and help me? No, thank you. Oh, really? What is it this time? Your fear of the dark or your fear of enclosed spaces? But both. And don't forget the spiders. That's Tristan's place. We were neighbors for as far back as I can remember. After Mom died, his family took me in. Strange. The floor makes a different sound here. The floor at our house does that all the time. And you should really get that fixed. It drives me up a wall. Madame can move to a hotel anytime she pleases. Ha ha. You do know I'm thankful you and your family took me in. I mean it. Even with my dad doing his weird magic tricks all the time? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> A price I'm willing to pay to avoid homelessness. And to live with your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too. Hey, I mean, at least you know your dad. Mom never told me anything about mine. So, what's this under my feet? <gasps> Jackpot. A box. And <gasps> a present? It must be for my birthday. But, but isn't your birthday next week? In three days and two hours, to be precise, Mom planned ahead. Oh. It's like these things were waiting here for me. Hmm, 
What a strange box. It's surprisingly heavy for its size. I can't lift it. But I can try to open it. It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Only a skull-shaped notch. There must be a way to get it open. I'm sure Mom hid something around here. Mom's camera! It meant the world to her, and she wanted me to have it. Mom's beloved instant camera. It has the brightest flash I've ever seen. Let's see if we can shed some light on the matter. Oh, it looks like the batteries are dead. I should ask Tristan if he can get me some. Tristan, can you get me some batteries for the camera? They're in the living room. Uh, sure. But be careful. You know me. I'm graceful as a... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm okay. <sighs> He'll never learn. Here's the batteries and a cookie. Thanks. Maybe old, but not old enough to stop me from eating it. <gasps> Yummy! That should do the trick. I don't want to take a photo of this. Let's try it again! I should have a look at the photo. Maybe I can spot something interesting. A bag of mole food? <laughs> That's strange. So that's what it looks like over there. More boxes. Wow. But wait, what's that shiny thing? Hmm, something must have reflected the flash. I'm sure I can find it in the dark now. A necklace? Hmm, must have been Mom's. I didn't know her taste was so morbid. Tiny skull fits right into this little notch. Let's see what's in here. What? What was that? Okay, things are getting way too strange up here. Prim, can we go now? Please? You know what? You go ahead. I need a few minutes alone anyway. Are you sure? Yep, but leave me some cookies. You better make it quick. They say time heals all wounds, yet grief is not so simple. The pain lingers, a persistent ache that refuses to fade away. But it transforms, shifts shape, becomes a more tolerable burden. The comfort of a friend, a soft bed or a plate of cookies can make all the difference in the world. Because let's face it, Cookies make everything better. It's full of instant photos. What a surprise. Mom took her camera with her everywhere. And guess who was her favorite subject? Oh, here she is. My mom, Morwen. Oh, beautiful, wasn't she? Oh, that was after Tristan's weird obsession with becoming a rope dancer. Didn't end too well for him, to no one's surprise. He really is one big doofus. But he's my doofus. <laughs> what the heck? Who is this? Okay. Oh, what?
What's that shining behind those boxes? I'll move these out of the way. Curious, but not without fear, Prim approached the circle of light that had manifested right in front of her. Before she could reach it, there he was. Out of the portal stepped a hooded skeleton with eyes as black as the darkest night. And in a voice that sounded more in Prim's head than in her ears, the monster spoke to her. I am Death, your father. And from now on, you are my ward. Humans have absolutely no idea what to do when they encounter the Grim Reaper. So, after carefully weighing up all their options, most of them pick the obvious thing and just drop dead. In Prim's case, Thanatos had made sure that wouldn't happen. Thus, when she met him, she only died a little bit. And she changed. Just enough so that he could take her to his realm. And as she was carried into the portal by her long absent father, Prim left behind a whole life. A faithful friend and broken camera. Prim? Prim? No matter how often or how loudly Tristan called her name, Prim was nowhere to be found. Oh, poor dear. Little did Prim know, she had been transported to a place where mortals can only go once their life has come to an end. The Realm of the Dead. Well, happy birthday to me, I guess. Can I come in? As if you wouldn't if I said no. Is it a bad time? Since you kidnapped me, it's always a bad time. We have already discussed this countless times. Yes, but you never listen. I... I know today is a special day for you. I assume you and your mother celebrated your... What do you care? You killed her. I do not kill anyone, Prim. People manage that all on their own. I just help their souls pass into the afterlife. Then why can't I go see her? We've already talked about this. Your mother has moved on, across the river, to Elysium. That is where my sphere of influence ends, and yours too. She is beyond our reach. So, <clears throat> I, um, I wanted you to have this. It's not wrapped like you might be used to, but it has been passed on in our family from generation to... What am I supposed to do with a stupid pocket knife? Well, for one, it's not a knife, it's a scythe. <sighs> Whatever. You're gone all day just to finally show up with a gift that's as useless as all the other trash you expect me to waste my time with. I understand you are not in the mood for talking right now. I will return later. I'm late for work anyway. Wait. Yes? don't belong here. All souls belong here, eventually. It is the natural order of things. Oh, taking a girl hostage. Very natural. You are not a hostage. 
I am your father. Now that your mother can no longer care for you, the duty has fallen to me, and I can only do it in my realm. I must not neglect my work. But I... Enough. My decision is final. I had a life, and you stole it from me. I had a friend. There are plenty of beings in my realm. I will allow you to meet them so you can make new friends. But only once you stop your fruitless attempts to escape, of course. You can wait for that till you drop dead. Very funny. Can't I at least visit Tristan? You absolutely cannot. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? Uh, I can look after myself. That is not what I mean. So, what do you mean? You... You might have changed. Oh, you mean the hair? Mm, that's not bad, actually. No, that is not it. Have you noticed any other changes in your body lately? Ugh, Thanatos, gross! I assume that is a no. That is a mind your own damn business. <sighs> There's nothing to do here. Do you expect me to sit around all day? I knew I would not be able to spend much time with you. So, in anticipation of your arrival, I have gathered a wide array of playthings, reading material, and educational items for you. It is more than any child could want. Um, but I'm not a child. Can't you get that into your big, dumb, dead, hollow head? What would I do with a rocking horse? It is a toy with an interesting history. The earliest examples can be traced back to the Middle Ages. The functionality is both simple and timeless. You climb into the saddle, and by shifting your weight back and forth, you... It's useless. Talking to you is useless, Thanatos. You've been absent all my life. How do you have the right to decide for me now? I had to go away to fulfill my duty here. Your mother understood this. Ugh, don't act like you knew her. But I did. After we ended our liaison... Liaison? Oh, God, spare me the details. That's an image I don't want. We agreed that you would remain with her in the land of the living, and I would return to my obligations. But now she is gone, and here we are. Yeah, here we are. Everything you say just sounds like a feeble excuse to me. You abandoned us. My whole life, I didn't have a father. And sometimes that sucked pretty hard. But all in all, I was okay. I had mom. Do you know what's even worse than not having a father? Finding out you do have one and he's a huge disappointment. And you can bet your oversized gothic bathrobe, I'm gonna find a way to get back with or without your help. You will address me with respect. If I had spoken to my father like this, he would have- Oh, was your daddy mean to you? Is that how you got this way? Enough! I tried my best to be nice to her, Morwen, just as I promised. And now see where it has gotten us. I knew it. The very idea of death having a child is absurd. I have more important things to do. I think it is best you stay safe in your room. You will not leave until I allow it. Fine. Fine. did lock the door from the outside. Oh, I have to find a way to get back home. But first, I need to get out of this room. Um, what was that? Uh, what was Thanatos thinking? I'm much too old for rocking horses. And I don't fit into the saddle. Not that I tried. This might be the only nice thing in here. Thanatos says the glowing thingies are called hotspots, whatever that means. There.
there's some sticky, sweet-smelling goo at the bottom. It was probably used to attract the fireflies. No, I really can't move it. Thanatos would literally kill me if I scratched the floor. I mean, it's what he does all day long, so it's not like it would take much to drive him to do it. I have no idea what to look up. Hmm. Seems Thanatos brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. I can't believe I'm doing this. Very oily. My only way out. Thanatos locked it from the outside. It leads to Thanatos' study. Thanatos says it's a family heirloom. I say it's a back scratcher. Um, Samael the Red. Oh, I think he's famous for something they call casket ball down here. Ugh, demons in shorts. Other girls have walk-in closets. I've got a two-story walk-on bookshelf. Hooray. It won't move. Looks like the wheels are rusty. I wanted to throw it over myself and pretend I was a ghost, but Thanatos said that would be cultural appropriation. What now? You know, sitting for this portrait was one of the maybe five times I've seen Thanatos since I got here. Ugh, I hated every minute of it. The only good thing was that Thanatos' sister Kiri's was there too. Talking with her has been my one silver lining. says that contrary to popular belief, Vampire X is the only thing that can keep vampires away. Whereas garlic only drives away your loved ones. The tag says, warning may irritate eyes. There's no use trying to climb out the window. Thanatos made sure to put my room over a bottomless pit so I couldn't sneak out without him knowing. That guy really knows how to make a place feel homey. How did this get here? What kind of beastie are you? <laughs> Shy little fellow. Eh, just wait. I'm gonna get you. If only I could cut it! I still can't reach it. This might work. Oh, but it's too high for me to reach it. I'd love to free the glowing thingies, but I can't get the lid off. My palms are too sweaty. It worked! Fly, little hotspots! Your time in captivity is over! Oh, they aren't leaving. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. But wait, I think one of them flew into my diary. Hey, 
arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Now I only need something to use my new invention with. That doesn't need to be oiled. What a strange... I shouldn't randomly try to come... That doesn't make... What a... These two... That doesn't make any... These two... This might... This might... Come... Oh, good idea. But I should find a place where the little eye won't see me coming. Every time I try to cut the thread, the little beastie runs away to the ceiling. If I could only distract it somehow. It doesn't seem to be interested in the sticky goo. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. My luck, the skeleton arm broke. I'll get rid of it. A pretty weird idea, if you ask me. Hey, stay there! And it's gone again. Just great. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling it's making fun of me? Mm, that should do the trick. Okay, let's give this another try. Well, that ectoplasm makes for one hell of a lubricant. I put this in here. <laughs> yes. Let's put the lid back. Yes. Gotcha. I won. Oh, don't cry. How about this? If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. But you need a name. Hmm, I think I will call you... Isaac Van Spinnaweb. He seems to like it. Other girls have hooray. No. Okay, Isaac, I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through the crack and bring me the key to my door? Oh, good. You're so cute. Good luck. 
I should keep an eye on this eye. I cannot work. I cannot even hold a single thought. Thank Hades, there is no ache a soothing pipe and a relaxing tune cannot cure. The keys are hanging from Thanatos' belt! <laughs> hey, where are you going? Don't forget to bring me the keys. Don't leave me hanging. For an eye creature, you aren't very good at reading, are you? in there. I mean, we don't even know what kind of plant that is. It could turn him into some kind of ugly skeleton monster. <laughs> no, seriously, let's find out what these plants are before doing anything stupid.
Thanks, Mr. Van Spinaweb. So how do I find out what kind of plants these are? Death Blooms, a most likely incomplete encyclopedia of dead and undead flora. Let's see if I can find my two planty friends in here. A magical identification key. <laughs> well, that's what I call a coincidence. exactly like the white plant I found. White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest, known for its narcotic effect, which is unfortunately so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. Perfect. If it isn't the black plant my little friend gave me. Acheron Swamp Trumpet, famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music and therefore often used at the River Spirit's wild parties. White Widow also White Widow also known White Widow White Widow White White But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag.
Sweet dreams. <laughs> Finally, let's get out of here. What are you doing? You can't... Ugh, just great. Whoa, that feels weird. You'll have to forgive him. He does that a lot. Curious, is that you? Do you have any other ants? So, it was from you. The present with the eyeball thingy did you think i'd forget my favorite niece is sweet 16. you do know i'm your only niece right you're the only one i remember at least but i'm not very good with these things so you're running away again maybe this is where you're going to tell me to stay right actually no i mean of course i can't let you run away I've kind of gotten used to seeing your grumpy little face around here. But I understand it's been a rough time for you. And you didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to... Oh, me and names. What's his name again? Hmm. Tristan. Yes, Tristan. So I will grant you... A visit. A visit? Yes. Go and find your friend. Tell him you're okay, and tell him what's happened. Or tell him whatever version you think he'll be able to comprehend. Don't forget, you're not entirely human anymore. You might appear creepier to him than you think. Okay, uh, got it. And afterward, come back. Come back to us and get to know your new home better. <laughs> But I seriously don't want to live with him. And if he's being honest, he doesn't want that either. That's all you get for now, Casket Nail. Take it or leave it. Fine. Promise me you'll come back afterward. I promise. Just think of me as your dark fairy godmother, who's telling you to enjoy yourself at the Prince's Ball but also to be back before the clock strikes 12. Or, in your case, before the effects of the herbs you gave your father wear off. But that's not the tricky part. What is the tricky part? You first need to find a way to open a portal to the land of the living. Can't you just tell me how? I'm afraid I can't. Only Thanatos knows how to travel between the worlds. Ugh, shoot. So, how can we figure it out? Thanatos always comes in here and just disappears. Well, since it happens in this room, that's the first clue, I guess. The answer is hidden somewhere in that stubborn, bony head of his. Wait, that's it? What? Your present, Prim. The eye. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> it can show you... things. What things? People's secrets, or rather, their secrets in connection to objects around them. I like to call it spider vision. It's hard to explain. Just try it out and you'll see. Okay. I don't think Curie's has a secret worth discovering. This secret is strong. So strong that I think it wants to take shape. Oh, the portal is open when a certain record is played. But which one?
Um, my little friend says no. There's no need for an eyeball with spider legs here. There seems to be nothing to... I don't sense a secret here. I'll take the other record and put back the one I have. Thanatos plays a record on it to open the portal to the land of the living. It's Best of the Dark Side by Dead Sheeran. The river is a nice place if you know well as our class is where we roam And we get songs to sing and we get drinks to drink and nobody's gonna feel alone You die, you die, you die, you die And you're in here forever You die, you die, you die, you die And you're in here forever Nothing. Must be the wrong record. I'll take the other record and put back the one. It's the Undertaker hit mix. We say goodbye. We say goodbye. Nothing. Must be the wrong record. It's a framed and signed vinyl of a band called The Afterlives. There's also an info text from their record label, Bloody Sticks Records. We enhance our vinyls with additional sensory stimulants, creating music you can feel, smell, or taste. It's a framed and there's all we I'll take the other record and put back the... It's After Death by the Rolling Bones.
Nothing. Must be the wrong record. It's a framed and signed vinyl of a band called... There's also an info text from their rec... We enhance our vinyl. I'll take the other record and put back the one I have. It's the greatest hits album of Joe Stygian? your eyes and think of your destination. The portal will do the rest. And don't forget... I know, I know, it's just a visit. Actually, I was going to say, don't forget to have fun. It's your birthday, after all. Carrie's? Yes, dear? Thank you. No problem. Now go, before I change my mind. Home. Home. Home? where Tristan is. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Lachesis, don't get sentimental. <sighs> Just leave me be, Clotho. Atropos offered to show her sisters what happened next. Wait, not yet. First, I want to know what happened to the boy after death took Prim away. After Tristan returned to the attic and found that Prim was gone, he raised the alarm, and the whole town started searching for the missing girl. The search went on for days. They left no stone unturned in the hope that Prim could be found at last. But eventually, finding not even a trace of her, they gave up. All of them? No. Tristan refused to give up hope. He kept on searching in the strangest places together with his father. Watch your step, son. That edge right there, it's a pretty steep drop. Yes, Dad, I know. So, have they heard anything about Prim at the orphanage? No. I'm not really sad that she didn't end up there, though. Oh, don't worry, Tristan. We'll keep on searching until we find her. Yeah. By the way, I still don't understand why I had to wait down here. Seriously, Dad? You would have just tried to wow the kids with your silly tricks again. And I would have begged the ground to swallow me up. Silly tricks? I beg your pardon, young man. Dad! You're a math teacher! But that's already bad enough! Why do you want to be a carny, too? It's so humiliating! Carney? I am a mathemagician, Tristan. A mathemagician? What's that supposed to be, anyway? Weren't you listening the last time I told you? Oh, no. Why did I even ask? Mathemagic, Tristan, is probably the most ancient form of sorcery there is. Pythagoras, Archimedes, Euclid, they all possess the power to weave enchantments with their theorems. The harmony of numbers, the elegance of geometric proportions, and the ethereal music of the cosmos were all at their fingertips. And now it is up to me and my esteemed colleagues to follow in their majestic footsteps. In comparison to conventional illusionists, we may not be many, but we are a guild. You can definitely... Don't say it. Please don't say it. Count on! <laughs> 
Oh boy. C can we just go, Dad? But that old donkey of yours has already slowed us down enough. Sure thing. These woods are pretty deep. Luckily, we have a map. But first, let me show you the trick I was practicing while you were gone. Fine. Oh, I knew you'd be as excited as I am. Would you mind holding this firecracker for a second? Uh, um, Dad? How many times have I told you, son? Call me Mr. Calculo when we're on stage together. I I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Now, where is that cursed protractor? D Dad? Oh, it's gonna be here somewhere. Uh, is this thing supposed to burn down so quickly? Tristan, there's nothing to be afraid of. The trick is perfectly safe as long as you don't... <laughs> Drop the firecracker! That was our only map! And our only donkey, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry. It'd take weeks to get through these woods without a map. And what about poor Rainbow? She gets anxious when she's alone. Are you mad at me? No, son. I should have known better. Maybe the trick just doesn't compute. It was... my fault, Dad. I'm sorry. It's okay. What do we do now? With no map and no donkey? Well, we'll need to get a new map somewhere. And we'll need to find Rainbow. And make a comeback. A map and the donkey. Got it. Dad, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Are you... are you sure, son? Why shouldn't I? Well, I mean, Tristan, you tend to be a little... clumsy sometimes. I know. But trust me on this one, Dad. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Please? Fine. But let me know if you need any help, okay? I will. Prim hated the thought of ending up in a place like that. I hope she's okay. Wherever she is. Liking hiking. The most enjoyable hiking trails of Frendleton County. I wonder if this could serve as a substitute for our old map. But it's behind this glass pane. Dear visitor, you are currently admiring Cliff Cliff. Named after the famous witch hunter general, Matthew Cliff who used to perform witch trials here. The alleged witches were pushed off the cliff. I if they floated up to the sky, I instead of falling into the abyss, th their guilt was considered proven. Every other Thursday, the Frendleton Historic Society hosts a reenactment of these events. Bring your mothers-in-law. What can I do for you, son? What can you tell me about Rainbow? My good old donkey. I'm amazed she can still pull the caravan all by herself. Never skipped leg day. Not once in her life. Also, she's on a pretty strict diet. All self-imposed. Not my idea. When it comes to food, the old lady's pretty picky, to be honest. But don't tell her I said that. Ah, don't worry. Your weird donkey secrets are safe with me. See you in a minute, Dad. Don't go too far. I won't. This is so embarrassing. Why can't Dad have a normal midlife crisis, like everybody else? Imagine being taken to school in this. This is so... why can't... One of the screws that are holding the glass pane in place. But by hand, it's absolutely ununscrewable!
someone once said, that when you look into the abyss, the abyss also looks into you. posters everywhere, but it's been totally useless. Nobody's seen Prim since she vanished. There you are, old girl. Here, donkey, donkey, donkey. Nothing. I'll have to find another way to lure her out. Seems hungry. What am I doing wrong? There you go. Good girl. How can I make her come out? I really don't want to. No. The thought alone makes me uncomfortable. Hey, it sounds like there's money in here. Nope, it was just a metal button. Huh. The thought alone makes... The thought alone makes... Hmm. If I were... Uh, hang on. I am me. No way, I'm going in there alone. But these woods are huge! And I have dentrophobia! This feels wrong. The thought alone makes... No. I really don't want to. What am I doing wrong? Interesting headgear for a donkey. How can I make her come out? The thought alone. The thought alone makes me uncomfortable.
Rainbow, darling, she came back at last. Oh, son, you've done it. Now we only need a new map. I'm not going within drooling range of that gem spreader again, unless I have to. Trees? N no way I'm going in there alone! It won't move. This screw seems to be stuck. As long as the rag is dry, this won't work. This feels wrong. No. If I were me, I wouldn't. Uh, hang on. I am me. Why would he want that? The thought alone makes me... This is one of those not with my bare hand situations. Ugh. I'm not entirely sure why I did that. Meaning? <sighs> the thought alone makes me uncomfortable. Due to the goo, unscrewing this bad boy just got a lot easier. That time it worked. That did the trick. <laughs> the perfect cry. I got a new map. Great, son. You're a capable young man, Tristan. I should trust you more. Forgive me. It's okay, Dad. D don't get emotional. Emotional? Me? Never. Uh, and Dad? Yes, son? Uh, thank you for doing this with me. D driving from place to place. Looking for my friend. It means the world to you, so of course I'll help you. Because you mean the world to me. So, it means all our variables are properly aligned. Ready to go, Tristan? Yes. Uh, just a moment, please. Oh, take your time. Prim, wherever you are, we will find you. But we need your help. If only you could give us a sign. Happy to breathe our boring, regular air. Okay. Okay, now I need to find Tristan. Together we'll find a place to hide, so I never have to go back there again. Promise or no promise? Woo. Tristan! Huh? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Prim. But... You don't look like her. What? Oh, yeah, right. Um, long story, actually. D don't come any closer. Son, what's going on? Oh, uh, hi, donkey. Nice hat. 
Schatz. I, but Tristan, it really is me. Am I hallucinating? Oh my god, am I going crazy? Stay where you are! Tristan, watch out behind you, the abyss! Take my hand! Ah, come on, Tristan! Don't let go! I got you. Always. It really is you. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Prim, you're back. As they hugged, the two friends forgot about the world around them. For all that mattered was that they were together again. They were home. Technically, our story could be over now. Unfortunately, it was not that kind of story. Wait, what's the matter? Is there something? Something's happening to me. Prim? Tristan? No. No. This can't be real. Are you... Death? <gasps> what? No! I... I didn't. I... I, I just... You killed him. Oh, help! Somebody help me! Wait, wait! I'm getting sick! Oh. Right on time, Cinderella. What's the matter? I, I... I... I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I just touched him. I... Calm down, love. Tell me what happened. Tristan, I found him, but he was about to fall. I, I wanted to save him, so I reached out my hand, and I think my touch killed him. Oh, Prim. No, I don't want to hurt you. I'm sure you won't. Whatever it is, I'm certain it only affects mortals. What's happened to me? Oh, stupid, forgetful me. I should have anticipated this. Coming here must have awakened abilities you inherited from your father. So I am a monster? Oh, <laughs> darling. I can't lose Tristan, too! Don't cry. It's not your fault. And with practice, you'll surely be able to control your power. Oh, what does it matter? He's dead. And Thanatos will kill me. He'll punish both of us, actually. Hold on. Just hold on a minute. What if... What if we could save your friend? What are you talking about? In theory, it's possible. I've read about it. And I remember this time for a change. It's called the Orpheus Method. But we have to act quickly. Your friend's soul hasn't completely connected to the Realm of the Dead yet. But soon, bringing him back to life will be impossible. To perform the Orpheus Method, we need three things. First, you have to find Tristan's soul. He probably couldn't pay for the ferry to Elysium, so his soul should be floating in the river Styx. Go to the harbor and ask the ferryman to take you on the river. Second, we need Tristan's life thread. A life thread? Yes, every living being has one. You'll find them at the Morai's place. They are the goddesses of fate, responsible for spinning, measuring, and cutting the threads. But how will I recognize Tristan's thread among so many? It will be torn, not cut, since his death wasn't natural. So I assume it would look different from the others. And what's the third thing? Third, we need something from the one creature that holds the secret of rebirth. You mean... A, a phoenix. phoenix. Exactly. We'll need one of its feathers. It lives in the Forbidden Forest. Here, take this map. 
thank you. But what will we tell the old man? Oh, we won't tell him anything. Trust me, he's obsessed with his responsibility to protect the balance of life and death. He'd do anything to stop us. Not a word to your father, okay? Okay! It's probably best if you tell him you've had a change of heart about staying here and getting to know the realm. Or even better, make him think it was all his idea. He loves that. He'll be thrilled to send you off exploring the realm, and you can collect everything we need. Don't worry, I'll stay here and make sure he's distracted. There's only one more problem. Another one? Yes. We'll need to get into my lab to carry out the Orpheus method. It's in a room I rented at the Misty Moira Tavern, where the Fates live. So? I might have forgotten to pay the rent once or twice or twelve times. Oh. Yeah. And I'm afraid I'm not allowed into my lab anymore. The Fates took away my key. Do you think you can help me with that too? Getting my key back? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Thank you, Prim. Okay, let's sum it up. I need to get the key to your lab. And I'll have to find Tristan's soul, his life thread, and a phoenix feather so we can do this Orpheus thing. Exactly. Hold on, Tristan. I'll save your soul. Hmm. An afternoon nap? How very unusual. My duty! The souls! What if- Don't worry. I kept an eye on things while you were sleeping. You're getting old, big brother. I am not getting old. The concept of time holds no importance for da- Kiris! You let her out of her room? I did. Thanatos, it's Prim's birthday, remember? And I'm sure she'd love to spend it without being caged like Typhon. Oh, she would not have it any other way. I tried to meet her halfway, but she... She's 16. Not living up to her father's expectations is basically her job. You are exceeding your authority. Know your place, sister. I wouldn't dare. I, I just want to help. Remember, I was a teenage daughter once too. And you know what father was like. Ugh. You are free, child. For now. And? And? I'm sorry. I should not have locked you up. Uh, on your birthday. Or on any other day. <clears throat> Wait. What is that thing in your skull, child? That was my birthday present to her. Cute, isn't it? I do not. Uh, Prim, wouldn't you like to tell your father what you told me? That I'd rather... Darling, remember? You told me you wanted to learn more about the Realm of the Dead, but you just didn't know how. Is that true? I think so. Uh, for example... How can you visit all the people who die? I mean... That sounds absolutely impossible. I do not visit all of them. Most find the path on their own. Only a small number require special care. Why are there bones printed on your robe? Doesn't that look like, you know, like you're naked? I am an almost all-knowing, almighty being. Are you sure? This is the kind of question you would like to ask me. No. No. Of course not. But... Do you people down here ever have any fun? What a strange thing to ask. We underworldlings find pleasure in numerous activities. 
first and foremost, in a good old-fashioned round of cards. Cards? Really? Oh, not just any cards. Here in the realm of the dead, we collect basketball playing cards. Just keep your eyes open. Owing to my subject's tendency toward uh, untidiness, cards can be found lying around everywhere. Once you have a deck of eight cards, you can challenge other players. Okay, that was actually much more information than I wanted to know. Here, take this card box and your very first card. What else do you wish to learn? Oh, brother, you of all people know there are things you can't learn by studying. You have to experience them. I have a solution. My daughter, I will allow you, within strict limitations, to wander and explore the realm as you please. Get to know the customs of your new home and learn to fit in here. And do not even think of running away. I will be keeping an eye on you, young lady. Young lady? <laughs> Ugh, up your bony old... Good, good. Off you go, girl, before he changes his mind again. So, you bought her a pet. So many tragedies. So much death. I thought this would be a story about hope. There was always hope. It was the very core of any being's existence. Spare me your pseudo-philosophical explanation, sister. Can we go now? We have more important things to do. Yes. Death's daughter would cross our path soon anyway. Good luck, little flower. This is it, the realm of the dead, in all its questionable glory. You should have asked my permission before giving her that abomination. Come on, brother. She, she really needed a friend. What she needs is my business, Kiris. Ugh, you sound just like father. Can I have that casketball card over there? Can you have it what? Can I have it, please? You can. Great! If you win it. What? Defeat me in a game of casketball cards, and it shall be yours. Have you collected at least eight cards? You need them for a competitive deck, you know. No, not yet. Do not fret. They can be found all across the realm. Come back when you have them. No, thanks. How is your exploration of our realm going so far, daughter? Please, don't call me that. It sounds so weird. All right. Prim. How are you getting on? I feel like I've only seen a small part so far, but it's been... Okay, I guess. Well, then let us hope you find the rest equally okay. Did he just try to make a joke? Can you tell me something about your job? Just ask, child. How do you find the time to reap the souls of everyone who dies? I do not. Huh? I accompany only very few of them in person. For instance, those who are particularly important, or particularly afraid. Oh, okay. Huh. Does it hurt? Dying, I mean? Dying is just like living. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it does not. Who decides which souls can go to I Elysium? It comes down to whether they are buried with a coin under their tongue so they can pay the ferryman. Wait, a coin under their tongue? That sounds pretty gross. It is our custom. 
Your mother had such a coin when she arrived here. Did you know that? No, I didn't. And what if you can't pay the ferryman? Then you end up as a lost soul in the river. Like most people these days. Humans just do not think about us gods much anymore. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Can I have that casketball card over there? Defeat me in a game. Have you collected? No. Do not. I really don't like how you treat Kiri's. She's always offering to help, and all you do is push her away again and again. Are you our family therapist now? Don't change the subject. You know I'm right. Though I know that she means well, dealing with my sister is... Ah, oh, difficult. Are you aware that she has a condition? Yes, but can't you see she's working extra hard on her memory so she can meet your totally unrealistic expectations? In my profession, expectations cannot be too high. Any small mistake might have catastrophic consequences. <sighs> it's like talking to a wall. I've got to go now. If you have need of me, you know where I am. Can we talk about my mission, Curies? Okay, but make it quick. And keep your voice down. About Tristan's soul? I'm sure he couldn't pay the ferryman. That means his soul must still be floating in the river Styx somewhere. You should go to the harbor and try to convince Charon to take you on the river. Um, about Tristan's life thread. The three fates are responsible for spinning, measuring, and cutting the threads. So I assume the thread is at their place. They own a tavern at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. Um, about the Phoenix Feather? The Phoenix lives somewhere in the Forbidden Forest. Plucking one of its feathers shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm ready. Thank you. Good luck, Casket Bale. Oh, it feels strange being back in my room. The last time I was here, Tristan was still alive. 